one's perfect Mistakes are made every day Believe, but you still gotta be The best you could be A man of your word And a man with a dream Alright, hey, what's up guys? It's James from Rugged Tribe Entertainment And we're gonna be talking about Cameras today Um, I don't think this is gonna be very funny And not very entertaining For those of you who are used to my vlogs And, you know, some of the stuff that I talk about So, uh, if you're not interested in any of the new cameras That just came out This video will not be for you Okay, so basically what I wanted to talk about is I'm getting a lot of shit from people because I'm interested in the 7D Mark II. Now, I have a friend of mine that shoots on a 7D and a 5D Mark II, and he does amazing music video work. Uh, I'm pretty much interested because I need to upgrade for my camera. Like, this is... This is the camera that I'm started off with. This is the camera that I'm working with. This is my rig. Uh, there's the 50 mil right there, 1.8, also known as the Plastic Fantastic, the Nifty 50. A lot of people are saying, why would you want to go to another crop uh, camera, another crop sensor camera? Uh, because I like shooting on this. I thought this was a great camera to learn on. I learned a lot of stuff from it. And people are saying, oh, if you go to a 7D, you're not gonna get the flippy. You're not gonna get the whole flippy screen. But I, it doesn't matter to me because I have on my shoulder rig, I have the little Z bar. So the, 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 the thing is the LCD screen is right there in front of my face anyway. And plus the eye loop that I use, I use a very cheap eye loop and I put it in between the battery grip and the camera. And I don't get to use this cool little flippy screen anyway. I never get a chance to use it, especially when I'm on here because this is usually in a little closer. As you can see, I'm a filmmaker on a budget. These are all the weights that were left over from my glad cam. That's what I'm using to counterbalance. And and um, I'm usually running around like this. So what I'm thinking is, is a lot of people are like, oh, you shoot weddings and stuff like that. Uh, uh, why don't you go ahead and get yourself a GH4? But I'm just not interested in the GH4 for a number of reasons why I'm not interested. Number one, it's a micro four third sensor. Yes, I know it shoots 4K. I know that it shoots 4K internally and you can shoot in 4K and then downscale to 1080 and you know get all these zoom in and zoom out options for editing and stuff like that. But I'm just not interested in that camera. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I could pick up a GH4, uh, uh, sell the lenses that I have now, pick up a 12 to 35, 2.8, pick up a 35 to 100 and I'm set. Oh, oh and the, uh, not to mention the Voigtlander that, what is that, that, what, that little prime lens, the 0 0.95 f-stop. I could pick that up too, but for the amount of money that I would spend on that, I can just go pick up the 6D. They gave it just enough features to make it the budget full frame camera, but they weren't going to do what they did with the 5D because that's their flagship, you know, full frame sensor. And the same thing with the crop sensor. The 7D is their flagship camera. And like I said before, I know somebody who has a 7D and, a, and they're still shooting on their 7D and they're shooting on their uh, 5D Mark II and they still do amazing work. Like, I know that the, the, the camera is just a tool. So the camera isn't gonna make me a good video. So like, if, if I shoot uh, shitty videos and I go out and buy a $10,000 camera, I basically am shooting a $10,000 shitty video. So I think that I wanna go to the 7D Mark II because it's in my price range. It, I don't need the kit lens with it because I have kit lenses that will fit that camera as well as my Tikina 11 to 16 and my 50. I can sell my 50 1.8 and go to a 1.4 and then pick up a Sigma R18 to 35, and, and then I have a good focal length for what, for the type of videos that I make, music videos, promo videos, uh, real estate videos, and uh, wedding videos. So, oh, and I can also pick up uh, a used um, Canon L, what is that, the 24 to 105 F4. I can pick one of those up used, and that will give me a good focal length, a uh, good focal length for what I'm, a good focal range, that's what I meant to say. A good focal range for what it is that I shoot. Um, I think that would be a, I think that's definitely an upgrade for me to go from the Canon T3i from the Rebel series. Now I had someone else said that maybe I should start looking at like a 60D because of the autofocus, but I don't really care about the autofocus. Uh, I'm not really interested, it just doesn't matter to me. Canon T3i is a really good camera. I mean, I learned a hell of a lot on this camera. Uh, I've been shooting with it for like two, two and a half years now. I've had it 
and it's just time to go to another camera. The Sony A7S, before anybody writes that in the, in the comments, that camera is out for me. I have no desire to buy that camera. I know that it's a low light beast and it runs on starlight and dreams and rainbows and stuff like that, but I'm just not interested in that camera. The lenses for that camera are just way too expensive, way out of my price range. I would never be able to afford good glass with it and I would always be playing catch up. I wanna make an investment in my camera, but I also don't wanna starve and have a really nice camera. So I'm just not interested in that. Um, for all the stuff that I can buy, I figure I can just buy the 7D Mark II because it's only around $1,600. I don't need the kit lens because I have kit lenses. I can buy that camera and with the money that I would save on buying a 5D Mark III, I can buy a couple more lenses and open up my, my focal range. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. You guys let me know what you think. Should I buy the 7D Mark II? No, I'm not a sports photographer. No, I'm not a wildlife photographer, birds in flight kind of snappy guy. I'm not into that at all. But I am getting some training on, because if I'm gonna be investing money into DLSRs, I might as well get some training on um, on photography. Because I get, it's kind of funny because I get asked a lot, uh, do I shoot photography too? And I usually send them to a friend of mine but I might as well just start learning. But I would do that as a hobby. I don't think I would try to take that on as a career like I want to do the video production. So um, let me know what you guys think. I'm not interested in GH4 because that just sounds like I have to pick up more components from my computer. Even though people are saying that the file sizes are really low and it's easy to work with when you take the 4K and downscale it to 1080. Um, I still don't think that my camera would handle that and I think it would slow down my production. And like I said, I am a videographer on a budget. So, and especially the market that I'm in right now, none of my clients are gonna ask me for 4K videos. The people, like, the people that, the weddings that I do are the people that don't have a budget. Like, they didn't even think they were gonna be able to get a videographer, and then they call me. And then I have guys that, you know, don't want to spend too much on music videos so they call me so these guys aren't going to be asking me for a 4k video speaking of 4k the nx1 i read about it i'm not very excited about that i know some people are excited about samsung jumping into the the uh the dlsr game but uh or that's a mirrorless camera i think i don't know i know it just got announced in photokina and I read a little bit about it, but I'm just not interested in it. I'm really, really interested in the 7D Mark II. I wanna know from you guys, what do you think I should do? Please don't tell me Sony AS7 or A7S because I just don't want that. For the pixel peepers that get on a GH4 and pull an image up 200% and then talk about how the 5D Mark III is mushy and it's so much crisper on the GH4, I really don't give a shit about any of that because I'm just not techy enough. This is me, a regular guy, a regular videographer, I'm not like that nothing about any of my videos are scientific not even what I'm talking about right now is scientific I just want a nice camera to shoot good images on and make a little money off it so and uh and, and I'm really passionate about it I really like doing it and I think that saving the money and going with a 7D Mark uh, Mark II is the way to go for me and then taking that extra money and picking up some lenses because I get everything that I want from this camera that doesn't, like this camera doesn't have a head, uh, uh, it has a mic port, but it doesn't have he headphone jacks. It doesn't have 1080p and 60 frames. Uh, it's only 18 megapixel. Uh, what else? There's, there's a ton of other things that the seven, it's definitely for me, maybe not for most of the professionals that are gonna see the title of this video and thumbs it down. Um, Maybe not to them, it's not an upgrade, but for me, it's a definite upgrade. That camera sounds really good on paper, but I wanna hold it and shoot it. So hopefully I'm in Connecticut, B&H is only 45 minutes away from me. I'd like to get out to B&H, hold the camera and shoot it a couple times and, and look and see how it feels. And maybe I'll change my mind, but as of right now, I'm very interested in the 7D Mark II. You guys, if you can, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think about me investing into a uh, 7D Mark II for video. And that's the end of my video. I will talk to you guys later. If you like this video, please uh, hit give me the like button. Stay away from that thumbs down button because that button's corny. You don't wanna use that button anyway. Subscribe if you like this kind of video or if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments below and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, James, Rugged Tribe Entertainment. Peace.
And I really think that with all, the amount of cameras that just recently came out, I don't think that we should really be worried about uh, that kind of stuff anyway. I think I'm just babbling right now. Uh, a lot of people are saying, why would you want to go to another AP, um, another APS sensor? Uh, a lot of people are saying, why would you want to go to OW? Just remember that it's talent over uh, gear. So if you go out and you make shitty YouTube videos and then you buy a $10,000 camera, you're probably going to be making $10,000 shitty videos. So, yeah. No one's perfect, mistakes are made every day, believe, but you still gotta be the best you could be. A man of your word and a man with a dream.